As a college student, do you feel that you stay up late working on homework assignments or studying for an exam? And that these late nights lead to early mornings that are fatiguing and rushed? I do. I feel that I stay up late prepping for the next day and trying to get homework done, making sure that I have done everything to the best of my ability. But then the next morning often is rushed and I'm tired and fatigued that sometimes when I do make it to my commitment, whether it be work or class, my stomach begins to growl and I can't focus on what is being taught or what I'm supposed to be doing because I haven't eaten anything and that's due to being rushed out of the house. I didn't have time to make breakfast or grab something. So my solution for this is energy balls. Energy balls are easy to make, cost effective, and so convenient to grab in a rush. Not only are these easy and convenient, they also satisfy my nutrition needs to get me through to the next meal. The cost associated with these energy balls is very low. Great for college students if you ask me. The average cost is about $15. Obviously this varies on whether or not you buy name brands or what type of brands you buy and also like the size of the ingredients you buy. The time it takes is also very limited. It's about 15 minutes to make these energy balls, which is great. Does not take away too much time from studies. We all know we need our time to study. And there's also very little kitchen kitchenware needed for this recipe. The ingredients for this recipe are simple, easy to find in the grocery store, and like I said, not very costly. This, the ingredients include rolled oats, honey, creamy peanut butter, cho mini chocolate chips, shredded coconut, and vanilla. The measuring devices that we will need are going to be a cup, a half a cup, a quarter a cup, and a teaspoon. With that being said, we're just going to need a couple other things from the kitchen, which include a large bowl, a spoon, and an airtight container. Now let's learn how to make these energy balls so we can all fuel our bodies to give us the best performance we can, whether it be on academics or work. So the first step is going to be to gather all the ingredients, whether it's going to the grocery store to get them or pulling them out from your cabinets. Then we are going to combine all the ingredients. It's going to be a full cup of the oats, a half cup of creamy peanut butter, a quarter cup of honey, a quarter cup of mini chocolate chips, a quarter cup of the shredded coconut, and a teaspoon of the vanilla. After combining all these ingredients, you're going to want to take that spoon and mix it all up. Mix all the ingredients thoroughly. It can be a little bit tough because the peanut butter and honey are a bit sticky. But after you mix them all, go ahead and place it in the fridge for about an hour. Um, if you'd like to speed up this process, you can use the freezer for about 20 minutes. However, I like to do the fridge because it gives me a little bit more time to do laundry or get a homework assignment done in between. It kind of breaks it up, even though it truly does not take any time at all. Um, once you place it in the fridge or freezer, go ahead and take it out after the time's up and we're gonna now form the balls. This recipe yields about 20 balls. So you're gonna take a little bit of dough at a time and use your hands to roll the balls into one inch balls approximately. Obviously the amount the recipe makes depends on what size balls and if you doubled the recipe and whatnot. But in one batch, like I mentioned before, all the measurements, that's going to make about 20, maybe 25, depending on how big you make them. As far as storing goes, you're going to want to make sure you use that airtight container to store the balls because this will guarantee their freshness and they will last way longer, which is great because then you have them for longer and they're at your convenience and you don't have to spend time making them every single week because they will last at least a week, if not two, um, in the fridge or freezer. So you can store them in the fridge or freezer just depending on how you like them when you consume them. So if you like them a little bit softer, then put them in the fridge. And if you like them tougher and harder to bite into, um, put them in the freezer. I like them both ways. However, I do prefer to keep them in the fridge so overall, these energy balls are great to satisfy your nutritional needs and give you that extra boost of energy to get through the day, whether it be in between classes or right away in the morning as you're running out the door. Overall, the energy balls are great 
and they're a great source of nutrition. They're not just some sugar or potato chip. They have great protein and some carbs and stuff. And of course, a little bit of sweet with the chocolate chips, but will get you through without giving you too much sugar. And then you will crash. So great nutrition in these energy balls. And you don't have to feel embarrassed about your stomach grumbling in class anymore. You can be focused and concentrated and ready to go for the day. So make sure you try out these energy balls and see how you like them.